Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my garage. The weather has been wonderful for the past couple days, and it looks like it's going to be wonderful solar weather going into the weekend here, at least until Saturday, they're saying. Uh, so I here have been doing everything I can to maximize uh, the kilowatts that I am not putting on my bill because every kilowatt that comes off of this system and this system doesn't go on my bill. Uh, it was provided by the sun, and it's wonderful. Um, if somebody asked me once if I was happy with what I'm doing and happy with my system, well, if I wasn't um, OCD uh, and have to come out here and constantly check it, yeah, I would be happy. Uh, I I'm getting what I thought I was going to get out of the systems. As a matter of fact, I'm getting more than I thought I was going to get out of the system. I, I When I first started this entire thing, all I really wanted to do was run the outside lights on the house. Uh, and that turned into... Um, well, you know what, maybe we can keep the security stuff that, that, you know, if the power goes out, you still want to stay on. Uh, maybe we can, maybe we can keep that on, uh, the batteries and not have to worry about a power outage being the problem. And then from there it morphed into, you know what, maybe we can take the sump pump and put it off the grid too, uh, just in case the power goes out and then I won't have to deal with that. And here we are right now at the moment. This 20 amp system is running the sump pump and the battery, or I'm sorry, the sump pump and the refrigerator off of that battery right there and has been since yesterday at 6 a.m. Uh, the 30 amp system at this moment is running a 50 inch TV, uh, the Wi Fi, the security system, the DVR uh, with four cameras that records everything outside, uh, the cameras that come with the security system, uh, and the router. All that is on this system here, uh, along with, uh, as you can see right here, I'm charging my tool battery. And at the moment, this system is throttling. It's been full since about 2 o'clock this afternoon. This is a 30 amp system, uh, 400 watts worth of panels, and at the moment it is kicking 11.4, and that's because that's what we're drawing, 11.4, uh, and that's the 50 inch TV this battery here, and then the constant load that is always on this system. I've been very happy with the performance I've gotten out of 400 watts worth of panels. Uh, I ran the big, this orange cord goes upstairs to run the 65 inch TV. Uh, we ran that for four hours on this system last night, just trying to draw down the batteries enough that it becomes um, not full during the day and throttling, but uh, apparently I didn't draw enough off of it. So we're going to run it for a little bit longer tonight and see what happens. Uh, this is the 20 amp system with 200 watts worth of panels up there on the roof. And this one is not being throttled uh, at the moment. And it's kicking down seven and a half amps out there. And it's 415, 430, somewhere thereabouts. Uh, as you can see, it is currently pulling 13.25. The refrigerator, or I'm sorry, it is currently pulling 1.48. Uh, at 13.25 volts. The refrigerator is not on at the moment, but the standby draw of the Guillain and the charging of this phone here is what the 1.48 amps is. Uh, when the refrigerator is running, that kicks her up to about 10 amps. Now, as you can see, let's step back here. This is my LNEX battery monitor. Um, I've come to like this. It is an awesome way uh, to keep track of uh, what the battery status is. Uh, hooks right to the terminals and keeps track of your voltage. At the moment, it is 1329, 1330. The shunt says uh, 1328, so 1329. So yeah, they're right there with each other. And then it will save and keep track of what's going on uh, with, with the voltage. And as you can see, if we step back a day here, it's 6 a.m. yesterday. Uh, after the outside lights turned off, you can see that there's a little dip right there, and then it stops right there. That's when the outside lights came on. Um, and then I plugged in the refrigerator. It's been plugged in since then. Uh, so it ran all last night and then into today, and it'll run into tomorrow. I'm pretty sure, well, I'm actually positive I can keep it off the grid until uh, we have some clouds, uh, probably until Saturday. Uh, but the cool thing about this is, is it also keeps track, uh, if you go back, just keep pushing back, and my button doesn't respond that great because the screen is cracked on this. But as you can see, I had the refrigerator off-grid there for the day. Uh, and let's go back some more. And off-grid that day for the day. And then didn't have a whole lot of sun that day. But as you can see, 4-4, four, 4-4, four, four, 
4.3, had the refrigerator off grid, and this is all sump pump, as you can see, just straight sump pump. Uh, and then refrigerator and sump pump on the second. So I've had the refrigerator off grid quite a bit for the past, I don't know, couple days anyway. So yes, is it worth it? That's that's a small system right there. That's 200 watts for the panels and the 200 amp hour battery. Uh, and that's running a refrigerator and a sump pump. And as long as the sun keeps shining pretty good, it'll it'll stay uh, caught up. Now, I did buy a 100-watt panel. Uh, I'm going to reorganize everything. I'm going to try to draw this system close to as close to 20 amps as I can and then try to make this system over here as close to 30 amps as I can. At the moment, the max I've ever seen on this system is about 24 and a half, and the max on this one I've seen is 13. So... We got six amps to add to this one and seven amps to add to this one. I'm going to buy one single 100 watt panel uh, and then we're going to reorganize the panels that are up there on the roof uh, and that should get us closer, a lot, cl a lot closer. Uh, both systems will be over paneled by maybe 15% or so, maybe 20%. Uh, and then we should be getting real close to pulling uh, 30 amps through this system and pulling 20 amps through this system here. Uh, and then we're optimized, and what I got to do is figure out how to put more things off grid in the house because I'm really running out of stuff to put off the grid. Uh, little stuff, anyway. Uh, I can't put my well pump off the grid because it draws too much. I don't have enough battery for that. Uh, that'd have to be a 48 volt system to do something like that. Uh, and what else do I have that's left? The air conditioners. I can't put them off the grid either because uh, they're both pretty good size. Two and a half ton and a three ton out there, I think. So uh, I can't put neither of them off the grid either. So I don't know. I I'd love to have more panels and a bigger system, but I think it's it's futile. Uh, like I said, I'm running out of things to, to put off the grid. As the sun shines bright like it is now, I'll run the big TV upstairs and the refrigerator's off the grid. And I mean, I don't know. You don't have to spend a gazillion dollars to make solar worth it. I'm just telling you now. This is maybe a... $4,000, $3,500 system. This is maybe a $2,500 system. Um, yeah, you don't have to big spend big money to make this happen. It can be done relatively inexpensively. Well, that's it, everybody. This is a real long video. <laughs> if you're still here, hey, like and subscribe. I, I, I want to grow the channel. Please have a good day and a better tomorrow.